How's it going, everyone? It's time once again to find some more goofs in Thomas and Friends. Today's episode is Thomas Goes Fishing. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so at the beginning of the episode, we see Thomas puffing down his branch line. One of the things that Thomas loves about his branch line is seeing people fishing in the river. As he rumbled over the bridge, he would see people fishing. Thomas wanted to stop and watch the people fish, but his driver said no. What would Sir Topham Hatt say if we were late? Every time Thomas saw another engine, he would tell them he wanted to fish. I want to fish. But the engines would always reply, Engines don't go fishing. Despite the negative feedback, Thomas still wanted to go fishing. One day, Thomas stopped at a station to fill up with some water. But unfortunately, the water tower was out of order. Bother, said Thomas. I'm thirsty. And here comes the first goof. Look at the top of the screen. We can clearly see some studio equipment. Thomas needs to get water, otherwise he won't run. So his driver decides to get water from the river. We'll get some water from the river. Thomas's driver and fireman manage to find a bucket and some rope. Their plan is to lower the bucket into the river and then bring it back up and put it in Thomas's tank. At this point, Thomas is so thirsty. Water! Then the driver let the bucket down to the water. Unfortunately, the bucket they found was very old, and it had five holes in it. This meant they had to work very fast, otherwise the water would drain out of the bucket. And here comes some more goofs. In this next scene, we see the bucket being raised slowly up by the driver. Notice all the holes where the water is leaking. In the previous scene, the narrator told us there were five holes in the bucket. The bucket was old and had five holes. But in the close-up of the bucket, we can see that there's actually six holes. Next, as the driver reels up the bucket, there's no water leaking from it. Even in this close-up, we don't see any water leaking out of the bucket. And then there's another goof. When they pour the water into Thomas's tank, it's magically clear. Just moments ago, the water was very dirty, but now it's crystal clear. Thomas now feels much better, and he continues on with the journey. It wasn't long until Thomas started to feel funny. His boiler ached, and steam started to blow out of his safety valve. There's too much steam! Thomas then starts to freak out. He thinks he's going to explode. I'm going to burst! I'm going to... Thomas's driver and fireman dampen down his fire. If they don't figure out what's wrong with Thomas, he very well could explode. I've got such a pain, Thomas hissed. Now here comes another goof. When Thomas goes to stop before uncoupling from Annie and Clarabelle, look at his face. That doesn't look like Thomas's tired face. It's Percy's. <laughs> Thomas is then rushed onto a siding. His driver and fireman don't know what's wrong with him. The conductor decides they need to call an engine inspector. And the driver placed two signs beside Thomas to keep people away. And here comes another goof. If we take a look at Thomas's number one, we can see that it's peeling away. <laughs> And look at the sign those guys are carrying. In the next scene, it's got pencil marks all over it. <laughs> to make matters worse, the narrator said that they placed the signs in front of Thomas and behind him. Well, that clearly didn't happen. <laughs> and there's Thomas wearing Percy's tired face again. <laughs> it wasn't long before the engine inspector and Sir Topham Hatt showed up. Cheer up, Thomas, they said. We'll soon put you right. The driver told them what happened. So the feed pipe is blocked, said the inspector. I'll just look in the tanks. There's some more studio equipment. The inspector climbed up and looked inside of Thomas's tank. The inspector then came back down and told Sir Topham Hatt to look inside the tank. Certainly, Inspector. He climbed up the ladder and he couldn't believe what he saw. Inspector, he whispered, can you see fish? <laughs> and they were swimming around in Thomas's tank. Well, Thomas. So you and your driver have been fishing. Thomas always wanted to fish, but not like this. So they all took turns fishing in Thomas's tank. While Sir Topham Hatt looked on and told them how to do it. After they caught all the fish, they fried them up and ate them. And here's a goof you'll only find in the American version of the episode. Mmm, that was good. Let's play that again. After Sir Topham Hatt goes, mmm, you'll hear Ringo Starr in the background very faintly. Mmm. That was good. Thomas then goes to couple up to Annie and Clarabelle, and Sir Topham Hatt tells him to never fish again. No, sir, I won't. Engines don't go fishing. And this marks the end of the episode. 
All right, guys, so those were all the goofs that I found in Thomas Goes Fishing. I think I found most all the goofs in this episode, but if you saw a goof that I didn't point out, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a great day. Look out for the